Hello and welcome back to all my wonderful subscribers. Thank you for showing up for another soaping tutorial and for everyone that's new here, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave this video and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the project that we make today. So today we're going to be doing something really simple and really fun. We're going to be using a cookie cutter to make a design in the middle of some melt and pour soap. The cookie cutter that I picked up today is a little bit larger than the mold I have, so we're going to be doing a really cool, like, two soap thing. It'll, it'll look cool. I, I see it in my head. It'll look cool. Just trust me. Stick around for it. And if you happen to have a cookie cutter that is the same size as your mold or, you know, smaller, you could do this design with just the cookie cut out of the middle, and I think it would be absolutely beautiful. Today we're going to be using one of my favorite molds. This mold is from Brambleberry and it holds about three ounces of soap in it. I measured us out about three ounces of melt and pour soap in each of these cups. So now I'm just going to throw these in the microwave in 30 second increments until our melt and pour soap base is completely melted. Our melt and pour is looking really nice and melted. Next I'm going to be adding in our scent oil. Today we're going to be using one of my favorite scents of all time. This is Peppermint and Cocoa Shavings by The Wooden Wick Company. This is my favorite holiday scent by a long shot. It is so delicious. It is a little bit pricey, but it is definitely worth it. When it comes to measuring my scent oil, I usually use one half ounce per pound of melt and pour soap base. Next, I'm just going to add in a little color block to each of them. This one is a rose gold color block, and this one's a cappuccino. Just going to give these a really good stir. If your color block doesn't melt just in your melt and pour, you can always throw these back in the microwave for another 15 seconds. And if it's not coming out as dark as you want, you can always add a little bit more. That looks like a nice chocolate milk color. So both of these are a little bit lighter than I originally intended, but I do kind of like them for the peppermint and cocoa shaving look that we're going for. So I think I'm gonna call it with these colors. So now I've just pulled our mold back out onto the counter and we're just gonna fill each of these two sections, one with each color. To get rid of those bubbles, just spray the top with a little bit of alcohol. Because I'm in the middle of a move right now, I can't seem to find my spray bottle, but regularly I would just give it one spritz and those would go right away. Our soaps are completely hard and now I'm ready to pop them out. Next I'm just going to try and line these up as close together as I can because my cookie cutter is quite large. Then I'm just gonna center it where I'd like it and start to push down. Once you have the pieces cut out of your original soap, you're gonna wanna make them into small bits. That way we can melt them back down in the microwave. So now we're gonna go back to our original mold and we're just gonna take our little cutouts and put them in upside down. The bottom of mine did not come out very crisp because my cookie cutter was just a little bit too short for this, but the front of it looks perfect and when we pull these out, the front will look amazing. So I'm just going to push these in as far as I can. And they should be a really snug little fit. So now we have our two soaps prepped and the rest of our little inside pieces cut out and I'm just going to toss these in the microwave for about 30 seconds to get them melted down and if they need a little bit longer I'll put them back in for just another 15 seconds or so. So our melt and pour is completely melted again and we're getting ready to pour it into our little cavities. Before you put your melt and pour into these cavities make sure that you spray the inside of them with alcohol otherwise your two pieces will not stick together and they will come apart when someone's using them. Because this one's brown and this one's red, we're just going to do a really quick color swap. Make sure that this is pushed down as far as it possibly can go. That way we can get the cleanest picture. And then I'm just going to begin to pour my brown melt and pour into that cavity. So now we're on to our brown one. All right, and then you would just give it one final spritz and then let these sit and we'll be ready to see our final design. 
I haven't even taken these out yet, but I can already see that they are perfect. These turned out exactly like we wanted. I'm really excited by how perfect these look. I think this project would be really cute with just a smaller cookie cutter in the middle, but this design is also pretty cute. I'm very satisfied with our end results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye.